Okay, the last video I'm going to do on ROP for a while, except for using it in a lot of the challenges we will do, uh, is just to go over the key terms of encapsulation and data hiding that you might hear. So I've got a very small example for this, but it's quite a powerful thing. What you can make is you can make what's called effectively like secret class variables. So we can make class variables. We're using a double underscore first and put it at the top of our class. So obviously before the constructor, and these are variables that can be used within our object and our methods, but outside of the object, it can't be accessed. So it's really good for data security. If you've got uh, class variables that you want to use within your methods, but there is no reason you're ever going to need to use them outside. By doing this, you're actually protecting your code from accidentally doing something wrong. So in our example here, we've got a secret class variable with the number 99, and we've got a very simple method that uses it. So it takes self uh, secret num and increase it by one and then it will print it out. So I've made a instance of my object and put it in the variable called example. So if I were to run increase, so if I do example dot increase and run it, you can see it's a hundred. So if I run that more than once, we'll see it going up because it's changing the value. Okay, so that's clearly working. However, if I were to print, like we've we've done so many times before, we do example dot, and then we try and access secret num from outside, so I'm not within a method, I get an error. So I get an error saying, um, data hide example, object has no attribute secret on. We know it does, but we only know that because we've written it. Our code can't see that because that's hidden. So to show you how uh, powerful the two underscores are, just to prove that um, doing it in a normal way would work fine, let's make a not secret num, and it'll equal um, loads of threes. So if I was to change this printout here, to not secret norm, you can see that prints are absolutely fine. So by doing this, you are encapsulating this bit of data within your class. So it can still be used within the class, so within the methods and everything else, but from external sources, it won't be able to be accessed. So it's a really nice skill to have in your locker. And there are certain examples that we'll use going forward where you might want to implement this.